Welcome, Traveler. Your eyes are covered. Did you see me? Justice and innocence are both blind, yet see more clearly for it. Find them, light the way, and see the treasures of God. God is light, and in Him is no darkness at all. The way through darkness to your deliverance is clear when it is lit by God. It is a riddle. A way to deliverance. That must mean anguish. Without them, we are blind. Naked you came from your mother's womb, and naked you will return. Enter here now, naked and alone. You must enter the pool. We cannot begin until you are cleansed by the ritual. Come. Do you know why you are here, child? Yes. You have been chosen for a great honor. Yet being chosen is only the beginning. What we do now won't be pleasant. Remember. The Lord has said, unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. Yes, I remember. Others showed themselves unworthy, as you have seen. My hope is you will fare better. I will. Mm, your confidence speaks well of you. Once we begin, we cannot stop. I will not heed your cries. Your soul depends on it. The devil will not endure the pain, so you must. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. We may discover in the pain that there is a delicious pleasure. Hmm. God himself grants it as a mercy to aid us in the struggle. Now, make yourself ready. This robe. And do not leave the pool until I grant you leave. I am to be unclothed. Do not be concerned for modesty. Once you comply, my guards will leave, and we will be alone for the ritual. Very well. Guards, leave us. 
Very good. You have made the correct choice. And now, we will begin. Accept. I beseech thee, this free will offering, O oh Lord. Guards are not coming. Your bishop will not be joining us either. <laughs> Angerwin, I, you've done me a favor, Northerner, though you don't know it. That bishop was an unholy annoyance. What is it you want? Your soldiers strike at Norse villages. Their attacks grow more common by the day. You make war against us, without cause. <laughs> without cause? This is my land. A kingdom established by God. You are invaders and devils, a scourge I am called to cleanse. My cause is God himself. Francia may be your land, but England's not. Ah. <laughs> the real reason for your intrusion, Diable. You are not concerned with war or justice. You want me to spare your people. I want to prevent your armies marching on my land. You murder your way into another land, and you think to stop me driving you back out with negotiation? I am a king. You are a godless invader. Who are you to parley with me? I am one who might have killed you already, yet you live. Perhaps this is opportune. What do you think? Could it work? Well, it might work. There is something I require. If you accomplish it, I will be more open to consider your proposal. A deal within a deal. How like a king. What is this task? My queen, Richardis has been taken. I want her return to me. I assume I must first find her. My spies tell me she was taken by those belonging to a zealous faction within the church. I know nothing more. You do not seem overly troubled by her absence. Marriage for kings is more often a matter of politics than of the heart. In any case, I doubt she is in danger. And you can be certain, 
I want her safe return. If I do this, you'll agree to leave England in peace. Peace? That's a strange word in the mouth of an invader. But again, you presume too much. Do this, and you will have earned a place at the negotiation table. Nothing more. When we next meet, it'll be with your queen to discuss your ambitions for England. As you say, Diablo, God will make it so. Now, you must excuse me. I was going to leave my wife. Now she is the only person I want to see. What's the matter? Guards, let the gate. Why should not this be? When my assistant returns with my knife, your deliverance will begin. You should know, Your Majesty. I am only God's instrument. with my knife we can begin I am little mother touched by Saint Orinus chosen by God you are just another royal brood mare mated to a king she doesn't love in your bitterness you turn him against God you see your majesty you can hide nothing from a true servant of God God himself knows I do not hide. That is a lie. You speak for the devil now, do you know that? But we will cut him right out of you. Then we will get to the truth. And God and I, put your faith in that. Assistant, my knife. She was not always like this, and too young for such bitterness. Your methods are uncompromising, but your coming was God's doing. You are a northerner, aren't you? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, and I'm not here because of any god. I'm here because your husband, the king, sent me. Charles sent you for me? There's no time. We have to find a way out before we're discovered. I know a way. Follow me. I did not thank you for rescuing me. It was a brave thing to do. It was not bravery. I'm only here because I have an agreement with Charles to return you to him. Rest! The plague brought them. The Verdun has instructed to leave it here. The area is safer for a time. Oh, we are blocked in. The wall is weak.
villages. Now, pray with me, good people. Pray to God. Late for a fine warrior. You fought well, Count Odo, but not well enough. <clears throat> Give me a quick death. Do not make a spectacle of my defeat. Those are not Siegfried's horns. Shah and his army. He arrives in time to save the city. Fight! I see a flag of truce. Siegfried and Charles will hold Pali. I must be there. My voice must be heard. As should I. But I am your prisoner. Then I release you on your honor. And trust you to keep our truce. Thank you, Eivor. I shall. Siegfried, I offer a gift of silver as a token of the love and friendship between us. Let us have peace. Silver for a truce. Not a truce, but a lasting bond. I name you my Lord of Rouen. And you bend the knee to your king. I do not kneel to wooden gods, let alone living men. But no matter. Let me take counsel. Eivor! Thank the gods you live! I see you. Good. I made it inside the palace. Odo would have surrendered the city. But, but Charles showed up with his mighty flag of truce. Aye, and you? After we split up, I took my thanes and secured the bastard prince. He's nearby, safe. Eivor! <laughs> the gods do favor the brave. The lucky and the brave. Ah, so it is said. And Charles, he offers us a hoard of silver. Ah, indeed. And all we have to do is sail away. He brings enough treasure to make every war thane here wealthy beyond dreams. For those who lived. Gambling our lives for silver, that is our way. Now, do we take his offer? By luck, he's bloody balls, yes. And call him king if it makes the old troll happy. I have dealt with Charles more than you. He may stab us in the back. He can try, and if he tries, I will take his silver and his throne. Uncle, we came for wealth and peace for our clan. We can't take all of Francia. We're too few. Charles, we take your gift, and in return we give you peace. This man, Siegfried, swears to be my loyal friend and protect our lands in Amiens and Rouen. Go 
Rosler, Abel, and my wife died defending Paris from these river pirates. And now, you offer them the very silver we paid you to defend us. Are you mad? Wait. We know you are. Let me ask instead, are you a coward or a fool? Secret swears to protect our lands in the north. If you surrender my birthright, you are no king of mine. Count Odo, I bested you in battle and spared your life. Honor the terms of our truce. This heathen knows more about honor than my king. Today has been a good day, but I tire of long speeches. We will take our silver and go. You Franks may stay and pursue your own quarrels. Wait. A final matter. Eivor of England, bring forth my son, Prince Bernard. It appears that God himself is here to bear witness to this trial. May he show infinite mercy on the innocent. And if one is guilty of lying, scheming, committing adultery, may his holy wrath punish your wicked soul. I have nothing to fear from him. It is you, Charles. Who must seek his forgiveness? <laughs> we will soon know who God has blessed with his favor. My guardian angel approaches. That is no angel. Before my king and before God, it's time I send this diable back to hell where it belongs. Life. Stand aside, Bishop. Your God does not bring men back more than once. For Angelwyn, for little mother, for my brother Ebels. I will purge you from this place! Out of my way, Bishop, or I will kill you again. The Lord scared me. I am his wrath! Thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling.
I must find Bernard. Bernard is safe. I sent him back to the house in Lisseur. Once again, he uses you. You radiate God's grace, Eivor. You mistake grace for the flush of victory. Poor Bishop Guzla. I will pray for his soul. He served the Lord the best way he knew how. Charles and I need to talk. It may be the last time he talks to anyone. No. He is a wounded man who was tortured as a child. Burnt and burnt again. His whole life is fear. Fear of fire. Fear of God. Fear of disloyalty. He deserves mercy. Count Odo would have me kill Charles so that he may take the throne. Would you kill a man for the crime of losing the battle for his soul? Not a moment ago he was to have you burned alive. What would you have me do? Spare him. Subdue him somehow. I can take him to a remote cottage in the east, where he will receive priestly guidance. There, we can live out quietly while I continue to prepare Bernard to succeed Charles. I assure you, he will grow up to be a ruler without ambitions for England. Spare Charles, and your people will be safe. Fine. If I can, I will spare him. But I need to be sure he can abide these terms. I know you will do what's right. The Lord works through you, and he is merciful. Father, bless these men who stand humbly in your judgment. It is madness! The servants did nothing wrong but... Here's Pope Sandoni! Against the stones, I, I know. You come in, my king! Please, stay back! I will burn you! I know your fear! I have fire! I'm not him. I am not the king. Gods. Another key. I should try. 
try these on the main hall door. Strange. A Christian holy book. No key inside. I should try these keys on the main hall door. Saint, the one who shimmers with the Lord's light. And so they were right about me. All of them were right. I know. We are what they say. It has always been us. Even as they seared me, I feigned to be purged of all demons. <gasps> but I knew. No amount of burning would rid me of you. And burn me they did. Below the scarred flesh, you were still there. You were still here. You have always been here. I killed him before. Maybe he will rise from the dead again. For Count Odo, who will rule this kingdom when you are dead. I will crush his bits in an iron press for this!
for what, Charles? This is where it ends, Charles. Nobody here to stop me, Charles. I need him closer to the fire. I thought you were different than those other heathens!
out of here, you swine! Not before you swear that you and your troops will never come to England. You did deliver my son. But how can I make such an arrangement when, as we speak, Siegfried is preparing his next raid? Siegfried is gone. He has no more armies and no power to work against you. Fine. On my honor and the life of Bernard, you have your treaty. My armies will not march on England. Not while I still breathe. Good. Soon I will sail back to Ravensford. But if a week or a month or a year goes by and I see one Franca shield... Do not worry, Diablo. You will not. No! Look away, my queen! Worry not, husband. I am here for you. As I promised. And if not, I will come back for him. I know. They see me, this will get messy. <gasps> Just know, Charles will never honor our bond with you northerners. Unlike him, my word can be trusted. Ha! You are no more than a wounded dog at my table looking for scraps. How dare you! Wait! Eivor! Finally, we can talk sense. What of Richardis? Did you encounter Charles? Richardis survived a trial by fire. The flames never touched her. And the king? Did you do as I asked? I fought Charles, but he still lives. Merde! We had an agreement! Where is your honor? Be careful, Count. Things changed. Just the opposite. It is as it always has been with you Northerners. All lies and double speak. Grishard has had her own ideas about the future of Frankia. I grew sympathetic to them. After all I have done to try and keep her safe from him. She convinced me that her plan was sound. She meant to subdue the king. Truly, she has a spell over him. This is your plan for the long-term safety of your people? She will ready the boy Bernard to be the next king of Francia. He is yet a piglet! You should be glad, Odo. Charles is gone. He'll not bother you anymore. Maybe. But I won't stand by idly and watch this kingdom crumble any further. At least we can drink to Charles being subdued. Let us go! We have work to do!
What do you think he will do? Odo will look for Charles, and if he can, he will kill him. But Odo's anger could be his undoing. I will have Pierre's eyes on him for some seasons to come. A wise step. Can Richardis really keep Charles from returning to an active kingship? That is the wager I have made. And the lives of my clan depend on it. They can depend on more than that. You still have me. I will be sure to send word should Charles slither out of whatever pit Richardis has put him in. To your relations with Odo, consider returning to him the lands that Charles pledged to Siegfried. No. Those lands are compensation for the hardship he has caused us. Odo kept Paris. That is enough. You sound more yarl like all the time. And now I must think of my own people, whom I've been away from for too long. Before you go, have this. It was my father, Sinrix, the second best leader and teacher I have known. It has been my honor. I hope to lead as well as you do, Eivor. If ever you hunger for more Frankish cheese, I will be happy to share. <laughs> Farewell, Toka.